ML Toys here to talk to you today about gear stripping in ride-on cars. A lot of people, uh, when they strip out a gear, they blame the gear for the failure, but the gear is generally a result of something else. Uh, and I'm going to show you that here. This is a uh, Power Wheel 7R gearbox, but the concept's the same on all of the different cars. So we're going to show you inside most cars, there's either three or four gears, most use four. Uh, we start with the top one and call it the first gear, then there's the second gear, the third gear, and the final drive gear. The gear that goes on the motor is called the pinion gear. Now, depending on what gear is stripped will help tell you what caused the gear to strip. They don't just fail on their own. They need an external source to create something that happens that fails. They'd have to be mismolded from the factory uh, if they were going to fail on their own, and you'd know that generally in the first couple seconds of use. So, we'll start at the bottom here and as we go. The bottom gear, the final drive gear, when this breaks, what we most commonly see is the axle in the car is bent, and what that's going to do is tilt the gearbox one way or the other, and when the wheel is running on this, it's tilting this gear. You can see, maybe you can see in the video, a little of the tilting that this gear is able to do. That force is causing the gear mesh between the third gear and final gear to get messed up and will cause the gear to crack. Now, some of the other key signs that you'll see in this is black plastic around the outer ring, which means it's been rubbing on the gearbox housing. And in the more severe cases, this inner portion of the gearbox housing is going to be wiped out, uh, usually on top, sometimes on the bottom. So if you see that, you know you have most commonly a bent axle. You could have stress on the frame. You'll see white stress marks where the uh, axle goes through. Uh, if you've overweighted the vehicle, had you know teenagers or adults riding on the vehicle, uh, or you've been doing a lot of towing with it, then you'll see that. Uh, also, modified tires will change the angles that the tire the car runs at because you've changed the diameter of the tire and, and that can cause it to what we call camber in. So that's one thing to look for if you've had a gear failure. Uh, same thing with this gear braking, the third gear. That, if you have a shattered third gear, almost always is going to be a result of that same issue. It's just this gear failed instead of that one. We very rarely see the center portion of this gear fail. I'm gonna pop that off. Now we have the second gear and the first gear. Second gears don't fail that often. Usually if the second gear fails, it's because some other gear failed in the gearbox and a piece of that debris then got caught up in there and caused that one to fail. And then the first gear, this is the most common gear to go. It's the smallest gear. So it takes the least kinetic energy to make this gear strip. There's a couple of ways that this gear strips and that'll tell you what's going on. When the gear is rounded out all the way around, that will mean uh, that the, um, the driver of the car probably went from full speed forward to full speed reverse without stopping first, uh, or they hit a move, an immovable object. So basically the entire gearbox stops and this gear you know, when it jerks to a stop but the motor still got power, it shreds one gear, and once one gear tooth shreds off, uh, all the rest of the tooth are going to come off as well. The other way that this gear fails is through a meltdown on the center shaft. The shaft that it spins on gets so hot that the gear will oblong out and start to wobble around, and a lot of times the shaft will actually melt the gearbox housing and move and now your gear mesh is all off. Uh, this pretty much only happens when you've increased the voltage to the uh, the car. Uh, 24 volts, it almost always happens. 18 volts, sometimes, not always. Uh, for a long time now, there's been a cure for that and that's the hardened steel first gear. This will also take care of that forward to reverse issue. The hardened steel first gears that we make spin on ball bearings. And these ball bearings reduce all of the heat on that shaft and make it not a buildup issue. Uh, it spins smooth and round on there. Uh, again, the forward to reverse won't be an issue on the steel gear. You can then still break the second gear if the, the kids are driving improperly. The greatest thing about that kind of failure is it's fixed by educating the kids 
not to shift gears without stopping first. That's the major types of breakage and things to look for. Hopefully this will help you enjoy the hobby a little bit more and prevent future breakage.